All right, 6.25 is just one week away, and as far as 0.5 patches go, this one is pretty hefty, so I thought I'd make a little checklist to make sure you have access to all the content day one. All right, so first thing I want to cover is the new Relic weapons. These are Hildebrand-themed weapons. The reason I'm talking about this first is because this will take you the longest. You have to be caught up on your Hildebrand quests, which start all the way back in A Realm Reborn. These quests are long, but they're also really good. Personally, I have not finished them yet. I'm working on them piece by piece over this week. But for those of you who haven't started them, get on it. These quests go all the way to Endwalker, so there is a lot to do. Also, quick side note, the actual Relic Weapon quests that come out next week, according to the developers, they are more akin to Heaven's Word instead of Stormblood and Shadowbringers, which means we are in for a lot of daily content. Okay, the next thing I want to go over is the new tribe, the Omicrons. The noble thing about this tribe is that these are a gatherer tribe, meaning you need to have at least one gatherer at level 90 to even start these quests. And if you want that new mount and that sweet new art outfit, you better get on it. Also, I have no way of verifying this information, but there is a high chance that there are extra side quests that will be required to start this beast trap. So make sure you've done the Stigma Dreamscape dungeon and complete the related quests. Also, make sure you've done your Aetherite quest for Ultima Fool, which, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have done that already. And there are some extra side quests that may be required as well. So honestly, I'd recommend doing every side quest in that Omicron area. This was a similar case to the elephant people in Thavnir, so I thought it was at least worth mentioning. Now before I get into the next feature, I want to invite you to hit that like button. If you are enjoying this video, it would really help me out in the algorithm. Thanks for that, now on to the next feature. Alright, the last big feature coming in 6.25 is the Criterion Dungeons and Variant Dungeons, which is the content I've been waiting for since I started this game a year ago. Unfortunately, we do not have a ton of specifics. For whatever reason, they did not give us anything new in the live letter, but I will do my best to repair you. Variant dungeons can be played solo or with up to four players, and the difficulty will scale with the number of players. We do have some footage from the previous live letter available. These are much more casual dungeons that you'll do with an NPC. This one in particular is named the Sild Din Subterrain, which you will do with the Sultana, which should be a good time. Varian dungeons have branching paths, so assume you'll do multiple runs. In terms of preparation, considering it's more casual content, there isn't a ton. If I had to guess, the only restrictions would be item level. I can't imagine they'd lock this behind MSQ or anything else. Just be sure you're caught up on item level, which I will show you to after I go over. Criterion dungeons. Criterion dungeons are the new hard mode dungeons, which I am very excited for. Apparently it's going to be the same exact dungeon as the variant one, with some changes, I'm assuming it's going to be a linear version without the twisting paths and some harder fights. In normal version Criterion dungeons, you will have a limited number of revives, in Savage difficulty you will have no revives, and if you take too long to kill certain enemies, they will get stronger. Now, to prepare for these new dungeons, I recommend getting to 610 at the least. I have no idea what the item level requirements will be, but 610 is relatively easy to get to. So if you do need to get there quick, there's always the market board where you can buy the crafted sets. Also, if you've been keeping up with your tomes, you can buy 620 gear. Lastly, if you've been keeping up with your P8 kills, you should be able to buy a Discal Tome Stone and get yourself a 620 weapon, which is huge. So let's go over our checklist. Make sure you're caught up on Hildebrand. You have a Gatherer at 90. You're caught up on your Omicron quests. And your item level is, at the bare minimum, 610. So that's just about it for 6.25. The new day setter Dynamis also releases, but that's on the 1st of November. But considering it doesn't come out until a few weeks later, I just didn't feel it was relevant. So I would love to hear what you guys are most excited for in this newest patch. You already know I am so excited for the new dungeons. If you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing. I plan on covering all the new patch content whenever it drops. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck with your preparation.